good morning i thought today i would do a little etsy studio day in my life uh today's gonna be a big etsy work day uh, my etsy shop is at amk needlepoint so i paint well i did like design and paint and sell needlepoint canvas actually today i'm going to be releasing my first chart which is like a digital design um that people can chart so mark it out on blank canvas at home themselves so um that is what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be taking product photos for that. I'm going to be painting a lot more canvases. Well, not a lot more. Uh, a couple more canvases for what I'm restocks right now because I'm out of stock of a lot of stuff at the minute. Um, they are coming. Not everything will be Etsy today. So first we're going to Aldi because there's something, you know, in those like center aisles. Um, it's a soldering iron. And... Uh, I'm gonna get it for my brother for his birthday in a couple days. So, also I might get some like cookies or something while I'm there. So, that's the first job of the day. Off we go, my dog is tiptoeing around here. Made it to Aldi. I haven't been here in such a long time. So, I'm a bit mm, unsure. It looks quite busy. So, I really hope that they are like doing those restrictions because I really don't feel like getting COVID today. Um, that's honestly how I feel with so many of them. Tesco here in my town is so bad, so bad. So mask on and off we go. The goods have been acquired. They actually did have it. I feel like they're always sold out of those things. So mini soldering iron or just a regular soldering, <laughs> soldering iron set for my brother and then I also got muffins and they actually had their own brand of kombucha so I got that that's pretty much it so I'm gonna go home now it's like 11 30 but I, I eat lunch super early so I'll probably eat lunch or at least one of those muffins when I go home and then I will start on all my Etsy stuff probably start with taking the photos because that's what I'm most stressed about but yeah so I also need to like work on the document like the chart document itself like with all the other images and stuff like that so we'll get to that but I'm very glad I was able to get this for him it was really really busy in there though and people were all up in my business so no I'm just I've talked about it in previous videos we're on like a level five lockdown right now so that's why I can go to like the grocery store but there's th there's nothing else open so fun times lunch has been eaten so now i'm looking for my white poster board let's find the light which i'm now realizing i think is in my bedroom no it's over here <laughs> oh there's lots of holes poked in this one actually <laughs> that'll be fine i'll edit them out lots of editing on this picture actually so i'm also now realizing i probably should have ironed this canvas i can show it to you now so this is the chart i'm releasing because i'm nicer when i like my outfit i'm going to take off the tape on the edges and maybe trim the edges as well i don't know if i should iron it or not i really don't think i need to um so i'm gonna i also brought like the wools i used it's cute scissors and I'm going to kind of stage the photo for that um, for Instagram and for the images on Etsy and everything. And I probably won't get it listed until maybe the weekend, but that's fine because I'll show you the physical items that I'm working on right now. Oh, the light is very overexposed right now. So I'm currently working on these Clara canvases and I have a few left to paint. So I'm going to do that. But then I was just selling them as is because I stitch like this like with no tape or anything on the edges mostly um but I know a lot of people do prefer the edges to be taped and it is very nice for the edges to be taped to be very honest so instead of getting actual like tape and I was finding that really difficult I decided to go the bias binding route so I bought 25 meters I had a bit of an issue with the delivery but I bought 25 meters of this light pink because it's you know it's me my stickers are light pink i like the color it's my favorite color i'm gonna do that once they're all done and i'm also going to put like a painted signature on them 
now um, instead of the fabric labels that I was using because the hack of trying to sew them on. So we're going to try and take some pics. I'll try and get some inspiration on my phone first for like how to lay it out. And then I guess I'm just going to snap away and the battery's going to die in this. So I will charge it while I'm taking photos and I'll film on my phone. Okay, so I don't think, oh, someone's vacuuming downstairs. Uh, I don't think I got any good like time-lapse footage of me taking photos, but I got some, they should be fine. I ended up taking some on a duvet cover. It's like navy gingham um, because it goes with the color scheme and I had thought about that before and I forgot to come up here. So I took some more. I'm gonna take a look at them. I, I'm not delighted with them, but they're gonna do the job. I'm going to edit those or just at least look at them right now. And then I'm probably gonna do some painting. If I'm painting, I'll try and get a time-lapse of painting because I feel like that'd be a, a vibe. But um, I'll show you what I have painted so far. So all of them I have done, you can't see it so well. Can you maybe if I hold it up against my blouse? There we go. So I have it outlined, painted the like other fill colors, and then I just need to paint the black outline because that's just the style I've done it in. So this one is mostly done. Um, Again, I'll put it against the blouse, just the one hand. So I'm just gonna watch some YouTube videos, kind of ones that you listen to more than anything uh, while I do this. But I had to go up and down to my room like five times, like no joke. I just kept forgetting things and having to go back. So anyways, um, it'll be worth it once this chart is up and I can sell it because it works for cross stitch, it works for needlepoint. I'm very excited about it. So, I want to get that listed as soon as possible, especially because it's been so hard to find the time to try and restock these. I'm out of breath now. Um, I brought up my little ring light mini tripod, so hopefully I'll be able to get some fun of me painting. I think it would be kind of cool. And we're just gonna get into work in a bit more. So I got a little bit painted, I had to tie up my hair because the curls just fall in the way. Um, I need to email, I remember just seeing this here, I need to email the person, like the shop that I buy a lot of my fibres from in Ireland, like when I can get them here. And I ordered them online because they accidentally mixed up the colour. This is supposed to be a light sage green, this is 3031 and I ordered 3013 and it's on the the invoice and everything so I need to email them about that I can return those I'll post them back um but I think I'm gonna edit some photos now I might treat myself have a diet coke because I feel like it um maybe I'll take some outfit pictures I don't know I think I've recently taken photos in this top um but I just love it so and it's the first time I've gotten dressed in a while i'm gonna get myself a diet coke a snack and then maybe brainstorm instagram stuff and edit photos for the chart release i'm really excited to finally get it released and just see how it goes because charts would be a much better way for me to go um in the future but we'll see and i'll maybe include some of the images actually just by the time this video is up which is probably sunday I would definitely hope to have the chart up so the link to it will be down below check out my instagram at amk needlepoint and it'll all be there and you can see the work so it's like an hour later or more and the photos are edited really it's just the one i need to use for instagram and stuff um but i have some extra ones which is good and then i was gonna take outfit pictures but then it got really dark really fast so <laughs> i think it might be too dark already which is annoying um, just because it was kind of a cloudy day today and I lost track of time. Um, I do have a meeting for like a volunteer thing I do but I'm just not sure if I'm going to go which I know is terrible um, but I'm really worn out with the Zoom meetings. I don't know if anyone else, I feel like a lot of people are probably feeling this. This is like Zoom zoom fatigue where like you're on zoom all the freaking time 
and it's not like it's a job for me like I like it's not work it's anything else and I don't really know how to say that but like it's volunteer stuff and then it's the course I'm doing and then it's like oh here's an interesting event if you're interested in this like topic or something like that like of what I study so or what I studied uh, past tense um there's always you know panel discussions and stuff like that and although I'm really interested in them like I've just had enough I've had enough of zoom events I mean how many oh you're you're on mute you know and someone is the connection okay you're like they're just they're interesting but they're not that interesting um my I was talking to a friend she's actually texting me again and she sent me a voice message um and yeah we're just we're both looking for work right now um and she sent me something that she thinks would be good for me and i'm probably going to apply to it but it's one of those things where it's kind of frustrating where you're applying to jobs that you do really want a job but you don't necessarily want that job um but you need a job so it's like that i know everyone's like oh it's because it's a pandemic like that's why you can't find work but like you don't know that. Maybe I would be like this anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, you would think it would be easier. Not easy, but easier to get a job when you've a master's degree. But pardon me. No. I'm just having a bad time right now. So I'm not going to take out for pictures now that I see outside it is officially too dark. And also, I very recently posted a photo on this top because I wear it. A lot <laughs> um but i haven't posted on instagram in a while so i do have a backlog of things that need to go up and i want to share or whatever so i'll look at doing that instead um i keep burning myself with the radiator right here um yeah so that's that's a little ramble for this what was really supposed to be more of an etsy studio vlog but there's gonna be some fun time lapses so or at least one yeah i would just really like to you know you can get an interview for a job i do have an interview scheduled um it's not for a job like in my sector it's for a covid swabbing related job so that is still a job which is great um but still it's not ideal gotta keep looking it's just like looking for it's hard to balance you know given that this is supposed to be an etsy studio vlog it is hard to balance like trying to put time and effort into an etsy shop and also job searching i feel like there was more guilt there's more guilt when i do it now whereas when i was in college i would do my college work and i would be on top of that so it was so fine even when i was i was writing my my dissertation i was able to do that but it's kind of since then and even i was painting stuff i think when i was still in like regular classes the guilt wasn't there that is here now whenever i'm doing etsy stuff and i'm spending a lot of hours doing it i am thinking and i know people around me are thinking like why don't you look for vacancies right now and then i do and then i just get put in a really shitty mood because the vacancies are either not there really not something I want to do or they just are not suitable for me you know maybe it's like it's in an organization I'd like to be in but it's like in finance or something like that which I have no experience in or you know there is like it's in a city that I'm really not interested in being in that happens a lot and there are cities that I'm like mm, okay like there's a lot of cities where I go mm, Okay, but I mean I'm 24. I feel still feel like I'm kind of 23 because I basically didn't have a 23rd year. It's hard having to basically know that you're gonna have to settle, um, which is you know not ideal. But yeah, the Etsy part of it is like there's like a guilt with focusing on it when I should be focusing on other things. But should I be focusing on other things right now, or is it just? A situation I can't help and I should try and brave out the storm I don't know I've been talking for eight minutes now hopefully I get to edit this down and um, but I feel like that is maybe an important thing to put in in an Etsy studio vlog is that you know a lot of people it is not their full-time gig uh, for me it's definitely not but it's something I really enjoy doing and I want to grow but 
yeah looking for jobs and my friend was really kind to like send me that job and then I was looking at it and I, I do kind of really want it but then in another aspect I really don't and there's a lot of effort to like apply for it so I don't know if I will um and it's in like a day or two so I don't know if I should be focusing myself somewhere else but this is this is the real this is the real stress of it all. I just realized, of course it was getting dark. It's later than I thought. I am shiny, I am tired. So I'm gonna just work on the more fun part of my Etsy shop, which is stitching. <laughs> um, because I stitch things. This is a little, I'll give you a little preview. Um, this is the Singapore ornament. Um, it's a little travel round. I have an Ireland one, which I actually redesigned. That's a whole situation um, because I just love to panic and redesign things. I'm going to do a little bit of stitching um, instead to kind of unwind. Um, I actually, you know, I could say that. I don't think I've ever been unwound. I've been wound my entire life. Um, but it's just nice to do something a little nicer and I will be releasing this eventually but I'm not sure if I'll do it as a painted canvas or as a chart I know people prefer painted canvases but because I'm doing it all myself it's just kind of hard to do so I'm getting shinier and shinier by the second and this was my very uneventful day of doing Etsy stuff in my little studio I didn't show you that much around my studio I think I will probably do another studio vlog next week because i feel like that's when i'm gonna end up putting listings up and everything um that won't go up then or here on youtube for maybe another two or three weeks because i have other, other videos i want to go up before then so subscribe to my channel if you want to see those when they actually do go up and i'll show you around kind of my mini studio setup and maybe how i design and you know designs that are in the works my Etsy shop Instagram is at AMK Needlepoint, but my main Instagram is at Anime by Design. I probably linked it at the start of this video, but if you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.